Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're jumping with the Black Square Cessna Caravan because there have been some autopilot problems, not just in this, but other Black Square planes. Turns out it's happening to a few other planes, all that do hot swapping. So let's jump in and figure out how to fix it. So here you can see we're supposed to be leveling off at 3000 feet. We took off, we're in heading mode, altitude hold, and we're supposed to be leveling off. And that works great. Now this is because we started on the runway with all systems up and running. However, what they found is it has to do with the hot swap mechanisms. So if you start hot swapping your avionics and bringing them back up, this is where a conflict can take place. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and turn off our autopilot. We're going to go for 5,000 this time. We're going to turn it back on and we're going to pitch up at another 1,000 or 1,500 feet. And even when we put in heading mode, you're going to see the heading isn't doing anything. So this simulates the hot swap, but also the cold and dark starts, how it doesn't initialize on startup correctly. And so now we have an autopilot that's, well, not autopiloting. So let's go ahead, turn it completely off. Again, we'll go back into heading. And we'll try to do that climb. And as you can see, it's not turning. We're staying in the pitch and roll axis and we're not going where we need to go. So how is it that we're going to fix this? So there's a community post over at the JustFlight.com community uh, forums. And on it, uh, this happened 17 days ago, this was written. So we've been monitoring this for quite a few days now. And at this point, it doesn't look like we're going to see any better way of doing it yet than this. I'm sure there's gonna be an official fix that comes out. And by fixing it the way Black Square is uh, suggesting it be done, this ensures that when the updates come, it will overwrite the files as opposed to putting something in your community folder as a hotfix, which would keep loading the old files if you forgot to go and remove it. So though this suggestion seems a little strange in the sense that they want you to overwrite uh, existing files, it's not that big of a deal and we'll show you how to do it right now. So what I got showing you here is a diff of the two kind of pieces of code. So on the right hand side is the small amount of code that he's asking you to copy from here, which you can just hit this little button to copy that code. So it'll copy all of this code and then you would replace. So you can see in this diff, there is very little that's happening, which makes it very peculiar as to why this does fix the state and we've confirmed it over the time that yes, this does fix it. It is also fixing some weird behaviors that we've run into uh, with some other planes like the PC-12 using the 750XI or even the 414 and it again because of how it can load GPSs. So what are we supposed to do? Well, he's suggesting that you go to the official store, working title instruments, packages, V cockpit instruments, nav systems, GPS, work in title 530, and the work in title 530B.js. So you have to do this for both the 530 and the 430. You need to find where your official packages is, your one store, scroll all the way to the bottom, and then hop into the Garmin GNS. Go through here, come into pages, V cockpit, instruments, nav systems, GPS, and then he's talking about these files in each of them. Now, you can open this with Notepad, Notepad++. Uh, I use VS Code. So following those same instructions, he's telling you to search for update loop for the main screen. We need to search for update loop for the main screen. What you're gonna find is if you just update and typed in update or update loop, you'll notice there are multiple places where this could show up. So you're looking for update loop for the main screen. 
just copy it from here and then go to here and we've got our update loop for the main screen. We're going to take all that and hit control V to paste on top. Now there's an extra line that it puts in. You can leave it or you can delete it. That's actually not going to make a difference. Once you've done this, make sure that you save the file. So then we want to do the exact same thing for the 430. Update loop for the main screen. There it is. Highlight it. Hit control V. I'll get rid of that for my OCD. And we will save it. And let's jump back into our plane. But first, I'm going to go to dev mode because I don't necessarily want to have to restart and launch back to show this now working. So now what we're going to do is we're going to resume and you'll see that dev mode is here. I'm going to go to my behaviors uh, and that's just so I get the quick reload button. So for the Windows Store, normally it's found here in this location and for Steam install, it's found in this location. Definitely going to Tools, Virtual File System, coming to Package Folders. You can jump to the official folder or the community folder. Okay, so let's go ahead, throw in a quick reload. We're back to a working autopilot. So if we go ahead and load up a different GPS unit, and then we go ahead and we switch it back. Autopilot goes off. Heading mode, turning, VSing down. And you can see we can reboot it and it is now still going to function as it's supposed to. So we can see we are happily going down at 1300 feet a minute and it's now going down, it's gonna capture 2000 and we're running and heading. So really simple fix. This will solve a bunch of problems and best of all, uh, once a update is pushed from Microsoft, it'll override these files and you don't have to worry about something lingering around after the fact. Well, the airport's off to the side, so I probably should hit a right hand downwind and land on runway 14. As always, if you made it this far, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and come along in the next one. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.